So we've just completed with this ear pinning surgery. You can see very clearly we've exaggerated this fold. We've taken this part closer to his scalp. And I'm going to show you the measurement there. So you see that? That's about 13, 14 millimeters. And here we've left it a little bit longer for him because he wants the low part to stick out more. Hence, I've taken this conkle and the part of the superior anterior legs down. So closer to the scalp. Now, let me show you how he was before. And you can see that here. So the folds were not clear and it was way sticky now. It was protruding. You can see now once again. Can try this All right. So we're starting another ear pinning surgery, but you can see how the shape of the conca is. We want to give it a definition. So you want to try and create that kind of shape now from this. It's not going to be easy, but we're going to do that. And at the same time, I want to take this ear back so that you see this is like 90 degrees and you see the distance now. It's almost four centimeters from the scalp, four centimeters. Uh, my target is to take it down to about 13, 15 millimeters. All right, we're gonna be using two techniques for this. And uh, it's done under local anesthesia or daycare. Marking. So there you go, we've completed with this ear pinning surgery. Now we're going to show you the distance from the scalp uh, to the ear. So you see that. So that's a little over almost a centimeter and three, so 13 millimeters or so. Remember when we started, this was four centimeters. And uh, we've got the upper part of the ear, as you can see, more pinned as the patient desired. We've got a nice shape as well. Um, I'm going to show you how that ear was. They will not be able to appreciate very clearly in this particular view. But in the earlier video, we very clearly showed you how the ear looked before we started. It's not going to have any scar once it heals. All the scars are behind. There's a small stab incision in the front. But I've used Vital Rapid, but that's gonna heal on its own.